Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Sometimes when I record, I have to reset my equipment. And I forget that I do that, and then I have to adjust. And usually I have to turn some of the things down. The raw settings of my equipment are a little bit on the high end, and I almost deafened myself today, so that's fun. But anyway, we're back at it. We're chugging along, just like the game is. We'll go back, and I don't know... Making sure I did everything. Nothing hidden. Okay, we'll do some Spin Dig Galaxy. Time to get our spinners. Anybody remember those? Remember spinners? It's probably before some people's time. Okay, game handled that one a little bit better than it normally does. Good for it. Spinners, for those of you who are unaccustomed to such a marvelous piece of technology, are rims that you could get in your car. And when you stop, they keep on spinning. So those were fun. Not as fun as a visit from Cosmic Mario, the Cosmic Clone. We're gonna dodge him around a little bit. I'm just trying to get myself some more starbits. Oops. Apparently we cannot run up walls like that, but that was pretty funny watching all of that happen. Oh, okay, well this is going very poorly. Oh no. This is not uh not going according to the plan that I didn't make. I'm not entirely sure how to really get up there, but probably not worth it. Ugh. I'm still trying really hard. Oh well, I guess that would have worked too. Time to do this. Yeah, boy. I don't know what this does. Is this somewhere important? Probably not. Oh, it's a bonus. So I think we get to... I think if we Luma spin these, we'll get the most star bits. Ow? I don't know why I said ow. It didn't really even hurt me at all. It hurt my feelings. The main problem with this... is that there's a bit of a delay... in between doing the Luma spin and being able to actually hit them. I wasn't ready for that. I don't know if this is where I was supposed to go right here right now, but it's happening. You can hear more of that ding dong sound. I love that nice big dong. That's fun, right? We're gonna learn about angles and geometries. What do the acorns say? When I grew up? Geometry? My geometry teacher in like eighth grade told me that joke. And he was a man of culture. So, you know, I like to hold on to the important things in life. All right, I think I'm supposed to use, if we're using angles here, I think this will work. Let's find out just how right we are. Right you are, D-Mike. Look at that, that's good math. Literally, I don't know if angles are considered math, but better to do math than to do math or something. They're really hitting it hard with the uh, with the power up there. Like, are they expecting you to fail that many times? Jeez. Okay. There was that smaller launch star, or I think it's a sling star. There was that one that I didn't really engage with earlier. I don't know if that was a bad idea or not. <gasps> Once again, slacking on the job. He probably had too much math. So once again, we're familiar with these, the silver stars. These are akin in this game to the red coins of other Mario games, like Sunshine, Mario 64. 64! Along those lines. So you just gotta kinda burrow into the the soft, loamy soil here. I'm gonna say that again. It looks nice, doesn't it? Kinda like peanut butter. 
probably wouldn't use a drill bit to interact with peanut butter though, I would assume. I saw that there was a bunch of star bits though, and I really want that. Can I get this? Can we jump off walls with the drill? Yes. All right, so as long as we don't screw this up, only problem is that I can't. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> you can't do the Luma shake, unfortunately. At least the game kind of reminds you of where you've been. Where did you come from and where did you go? Where did you come from, Mario Joe? And that's a highbrow joke. There's like these little deposits in the ground. Okay, I guess this is probably as close as I'm gonna get to those. Oh, wait, there's more on that side. Oh no, I want them. I want the candy. Give me the candy. All right, I don't know how to get to uh, either side of that. Oh, I'm doing a really bad job. Probably should not be spending too much more time on this level. It's not really worth it. Sorry, Spin Dig Galaxy. Oops. Now I have to go and find a power up. Oh boy. We are wasting so much time. Now I'm just. Oh, I'm just goofing. All in the. All in the quest for more star bits. Definitely was not worth it. Let's run back up the other side. It was all the way over here. That's number five. The game was nice enough to put the silver stars in their locations in relatively noticeable spots. Oh man, I'm gonna get back there though. Dig all the way through. Oh. It's a little anticlimactic, huh? Okay, just a moment. Just a moment. Whee! Okay, we got it. First try. I'm gonna still attempt to keep up the pace that I did in Galaxy 1. Hopefully the game does not hit me with... Well, this is not the front of the ship. What is happening? There's a lot of star bits, though. Looks like a cutscene is uh, in our future here, guys. Okay, so this is... a weird part of the game. I don't know why they decided to make this, but this little area will eventually house all of our power-ups and looks like Grand Star collection with the with the bacon in the middle. Blue bacon right now. It's probably not safe to eat, so we'll wait and come back later when that one's more fully cooked. And I think we can deposit our star bits with... Wow. Two additional star bits? What an investment. That's one of the things that always bums me out, is like... I am not a finance, financier, financier, whatever the word is. I am not somebody in finance. So take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. But it always kind of bums me out that like interest rates nowadays are just kind of poo. You know, back in the day, you know, interest rates were awesome. My parents would always tell me about how they could have a bank account and the interest rates were like 5 to 10% or something crazy. But now... It's like a percent of a percent. You could put in a ton of money and like, not really get much out of it, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, I'm sure there were probably caveats to that too. It wasn't like they were making a ton of money on interest and, you know, the world was perfect. But, you know, financially things were a little different back then. I'm the pro maneuver again for you. So I'm gonna try to grab the Comet Metal. I don't know where it is. But we didn't get it last time, so we have to get it now or right to prison. So, them's the rules. I didn't make the rules. And I try not to follow them. Here at Mike Industries, we pride ourselves on... skirting the law. The laws of gaming, of course. And the laws of gravity, like this. Okay, so... More coins? I don't know if there's a coin, Luma. There might be. Seems like things are going a little bit better today in terms of how the game is running. Ooh, hello. Look at that big purple tip. Got him. 
Okay. So, use that dandelion to flick yourself down here. Flick the bean down here. Alright, is this... Okay. There might have been something fun up there. I just completely ignored it. Can I go back up? Nope. Okay. So, oh, that's not where the common metal was, because I am not getting it. Yeah, this part, you gotta kind of be careful. The gravity will change, obviously, based on the arrows. Let's see? You just gotta pay attention to where you're going, your surroundings. I don't know if there's anything down there. It makes me a little annoy this. But this switch should take care of it, I'd say. Once the gravity changes, then obviously certain enemies that were tough to dispatch before because they're spiky, we can take care of them now. Oof. Almost missed that. Okay. I'm trying to get this earlier would have been... Sure, death. I don't know... Yeah, once again, not sure if there's a coin luma. I'm also kind of nervous to backflip off this. I don't want to get sucked into the black hole. I like my coffee how I like my interdimensional vortexes. A little life here if you need it. Definitely do. We are running low. Well, there's the answer to the everything in the universe, apparently. I think that's a reference that... Oops! Okay. Oh, man, I almost did it again. Wouldn't that have been fun? Huh? Yeah! Here's a visit from a swamp. Ooh, there's the common metal right there. I don't know if we're going to be able to switch the gravity or not. How am I supposed to get that? I would hope that there's a way. Oh, there's... <laughs> okay, so that's maybe a way that you can get it. Not the way that I did it, though. Yeah, I, uh... Whew. That was fun. Not quite the way I intended to do that. Or maybe it was. I'll leave that mystery up to you, view oh. viewers. Excuse me, sir. I need that. I need to flip that switch up top. Oops. Ow. Oh, come on. He barely bonked me. Well, I'll take your corpse currency and be done with you. Oops. Okay. We are doing very well today. As per usual, feeling that energy, feeling that sunlight from the world we get the get the life back i don't know why i said that actually it's been a pretty gloomy couple days you ever feel that i mean this is obviously geographically dependent you know if you live in a place where this doesn't apply to you then ignore me Ooh. ignore me but uh yeah it's like days that it's sunny obviously you're soaking up that vitamin dizzle and then days when you can't when it's kind of gloomy out it's a little bit of a bummer. I actually live in one of the cloudier places in the US and A. Oops. Oh, there's a little bonus down here. I didn't notice. We'll try it again real quick. Zoop. Oh, yeah. This is kind of tough to do because it takes two hits to kill Goombas when you do the Luma spin. So you gotta hit them and quit them. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, well, we got some star bits out of that and a life. So we're not completely useless. But I actually do need to get a bit of a move on here because I am trying to keep these episodes manageable. I'm Once again, I've already said this twice, so I'm going to say it a third time. Third time's charm. I'm trying to make these episodes a little bit, you know, manageable in the sense of Accomplishing a good pace of stars. Oh, come on. There's a lot in this game. There was, you know, the huge 120 in Galaxy 1. So, I'm trying to... Oh, boy. Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay. That was epic. Do you see that save? You're welcome. No, what I was trying to say is I want to collect a good amount of stars... While also being respectful of people's time. You know, that's kind of a big thing. This is kind of the... This is the... Prime time slot let's play right now. 
but I don't know how they expect you to get this. Maybe the way that I did it before was the way. I'm gonna try it again. But I gotta be quick. Hurry. Yes, that was amazing. You're welcome. Did that for you guys. Really put myself on the line. Alright, okay. Whew. Ooh, and a power up. Some fire flower shenanigans. Shenaniganery. Here we go. Ooh, you can break the crystals with fire so they are. They're not flame resistant. Oops. Okay, great. I don't know if I need it again, but we're about to find out. Here we go! The game knows me too well. There's probably, like, some sort of science behind the addictiveness of... of star bits, and they... I am... 100% in, falling in, into that demographic of people who... are weak to it. 1,000 million billion percent. I love star bits. It's just so hard not to collect them. They're so cute. It's fun to waggle your... waggle your Wii mode around. Just try not to do that in public with children around. You gotta be careful with that. People don't really seem to like that as much. Kind of keep that to yourself under wraps a little bit. So the gravity here is a little different. We went from being kind of vertically scrolling to horizontally scrolling. Ooh, this looks like death. Be very careful here. Alright. Ooh. This is a bit of a trick. A little bit of a long jump, though, to cure your woes. Here's some tricky gravity that I just already messed up. Alright. Nope. Oh, one more time. Okay. Ooh. Okay. One more time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's actually really messing with my brain. I don't really care for it. Stop it. Okay. First try. That was pretty good. All right. So far, so good. Not too bad, everybody, right? We're feeling pretty awesome. Yeah. That's 10 stars. Another Comet Medal. A Galaxy Complete. Usually the game will tell you, so that's good. I don't know if I need to do this after every mission. I guess I could probably just wait until the end of a, till the end of everything. But it makes me feel good if I do this. I'm assuming they just infinitely stack, so yeah. It is gonna be quite some time before I can, oh, I guess I could do I'll open up that galaxy next time, but we got more cloud power up in our future. Hopefully you guys are ready for that. That's a lot of fun. Hopefully something substantial happens in this episode. Something different. Oh, poor Captain Chode. Toad. Did I say his name wrong? Oops. Okay. So we're back at it. Going into the original intended first star of this mission. One of the best parts about doing this again is you're gonna get more of this amazing music. And if you don't like this music, well, you can get out. 100%. You are... you are a criminal. So here's one of the things that I didn't show off last time I think this guy clues us in. If you do touch water, in the same vein as the bee suit, you will be losing your power up. So... I don't really think there's a whole lot of cloud puns that I can make. It seems like... There's too much condensation on my brain for that to really work out. Alright, I don't know what's in here. I don't remember if there's another... I feel like there's another weird... Luma in this one? I could be wrong. I am very tempted by this box. I love a nice box. Whew, that was close. Nope. Saved it. Oh, man. I was going to try to be super cool and shoot right to that, but that was close enough, right? It was. You can just admit it. 
Oh man, I missed all of those star bits. Ooh boy. Okay. So we got a cosmic clone debacle here. They're gonna be coming after us, coming in hot. We don't have our cloud power up to bail us out. I don't know if there is one here. I would assume there has gotta be one somewhere. It's kind of a jerk move if there isn't. Where's that final uh, ship? There it is. Well, I can't do that yet because I really would like to have this. Can I even get this without not having the cloud power up? Can I triple jump to it? Maybe we'll find out. Get this real quick. Oh yeah. How'd that feel? Like a big release. I'm trying to wag on my Wiimote. I don't know if I need to make my Wiimote more sensitive. I feel like a bit of a wiener sometimes when I can't. Oh, why are you, what are you shaking for? He chased the, oh man. That's your first mistake. You gotta stop trying to chase that monkey. Ugh. Chase that monkey. That'll get you into some trouble. All right, let's go ahead and grab another cloud. Woo! Yeah, cloud power up is definitely one of the best. Huge fan of it. Makes me feel all fluffy inside. What's in here? Nope, stop, quit. Oh yeah, there it is. Can't help myself. And reali realistically, you know, you gotta prioritize this, these kind of things. I would like to climb you. Maybe I can do that a different way. Eh, okay. That felt pretty good. I feel like we're in for some shenanigans coming up. What was your name? Nope. How dare you encourage me to waste my star bits on violence? Absolutely not. If I'm gonna be spending my cash monies, it's not gonna be on on murder. Heck no. So here's another chance to get your power up going. You just gotta be careful. You don't wanna accidentally touch the, the water here. Oh, I guess you don't really, it doesn't matter. There's free power ups up above. The game knew it. It's like, yeah, you're probably gonna screw this up. So. Here's a freebie. Yeah, they're all over the place. Captain Toad! Herf, who says Herf? Okay. So Captain Toad clearly is not willing to assume his rank. But don't worry, we'll take care of it, as we always do. Do I have to burn one of my clouds? I think I do. All right, let's talk to this funky monkey. Hello. His head looks like a banana peel. Okay. That was anticlimactic. I thought we were actually gonna have to do something athletic. Wee. Huh. Interesting. I do believe that's actually all the stars we can get. We're being taken inside again. I believe we're gonna be forced to hand over our new power up. Thanks a lot, Lubba. Okay, more coins, more star bits. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Cloud flower. Don't talk about our power-ups like that, Lubba. That's rude. Shouldn't be going around calling things weird. The only thing weird is you, Lubba. Okay. So... I do believe that's everything we can do up to this point prior to unlocking all the other stars. I know that the other galaxies aren't going to be, quote, complete, but that's just because of the fact that there's gonna be comets, etc. Let's burn through our stars and 
open this up. And you know what? Let's do the fiery flotilla. Flotilla! Makes me think of the word quesadilla. And I love quesadillas. Does everybody like quesadillas? Do you like liking videos, commenting, and subscribing in quesadillas? Gobble guts, aching belly. Gobble gut? Well, we were doing really well. We were three for three on level intros, but alas, the boss level was too much for this game to handle. That's okay. We all have our days where we're not at our best. Oh, beautiful music. Listen to this, enjoy this, soak this in. It's so good. I actually went and I, uh, I downloaded the entire soundtrack. Excuse you. Yeah, here. <laughs> Oops. I didn't really mean to make it happen like that, but... Right, I don't know if I can jump up here this way. Yes. I think the common metal's right here. That's an early get. Ooh, I was really concerned about jumping into nothing there. I wasn't 100% where I was going. That was a bit scary. Okay, here we go. Came back here to try to run interference, but we're doing okay. Yeah, these boss levels are really good. As per usual. Ooh. The game was not a fan of that, though. It's like, are you trying to transition from one part of the stage to the other? I don't think so. You gotta let me think about that one for a moment. Gave it pause. Okay. Oop. Gotta watch out for these fire ropes. I don't know if these have official names or not. What is this? Excuse you. When you need to land in a tight space, just jump and sp I don't know. No. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Here, do Mike Industries. We blaze our own trails. Friendly advice is for the birds. And birds aren't real, so... I will pass. Respectfully decline. But I will take this power shroom. I kept calling these life shrooms, but I don't feel like that's an accurate description of what they do. Okay, well that's good. Right before the boss fight, go ahead and burn one of our, our shots. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is Bowser Jr. or the Koopa Kid. I don't remember what they call him, but... I want to say Bowser Jr. Oh, man, we got... Don't forget to protect your bulge. Words to live by. Oh, sounds like my stomach. Holy moly! This is one of the best bosses in the game. Just by aesthetic alone. And he sounds like a train! Do we like trains? I grew up loving trains. Maybe not gigantic, like creepy celestial dragons trains, but in general. Okay, so here's here's the gimmick of this one. He's got these big old zits on his body. His belly bulges. When they come down through, you're gonna wanna loom a spin into them and pop them. Oh, and he is hopping, well, I guess I shouldn't say hopping mad. He is Slowly spinning and descending mad. He will chomp into the ground. It'd be kind of cool if the planet slowly changed size. All right, I think we actually got all the early ones. Ooh, I missed the other two. Oof. Oh, that was a missed cycle. I didn't get any that time. I would like the game to give me another chance. Oops. Okay. Power shroom gone. Pretty excellent performance so far. I do say so myself. I think he chomps two times before he goes in the ground. All right, here we go. Chance to redeem ourselves. There's one. Oops. Get up, Mario. Oh, I just missed it. That's okay. So, our health intact. Oh boy. Yeah, he gets a little quicker. Oof. Okay. Get up. That's the tricky thing, is that you gotta... I will sacrifice my... little bit of my finances here for a coin. I don't remember which 
section of him I still need. So this is the tough part, is you gotta just kind of run around a little bit so that way he can't get you. Oh, I see it coming up. That's all six, got him. The rule of sixes. Classic Nintendo boss rules. Ooh, he looks like he's having a rough day. That's what happens when you don't protect your bulge, guys. Always protect your bulge. And if you don't, you explode and you turn into a grand star. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. It's so beautiful. Remind ourselves of this from the first game. Let's go ahead and collect it. Thought I missed for a second. That's the first grand star of many to add to the bacon. Speaking of grand stars, you all watching, you're all grand stars. Don't you forget it. You can fly back to the comfort of the face ship. Swirl around the head. Open up a new world. We did it. 12 stars already. Ooh, that's all the stars and all the comet medals we can possibly get so far. Look at that. Lubba's acknowledging us. Feels like he's kind of patronizing me a little bit. Buddy, don't you call me buddy pal. You are just jiggling about it. Could definitely go for a run or two, Lubba. Okay, here we go. Time to blast off. The game just kind of automatically makes you do this. Don't worry, though. You can come back. You're not locked into a new world once you leave the first one. You can venture to the original ones, which, I mean, you'll have to do anyway if you want to collect all the stars. It's kind of part of this game. This is just the story chugging you along. So that's what we will do next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll catch you later. Bye!